I love movies, so today we're going to be taking a look at some movie details you may have missed in some of your favourite movies. Also, I'm aware I might sound a bit more nasally than usual. I I'm dying of my fifth cold in four months. I've had, I've had five colds in four months. I honestly think I may need to get put down. In the Dark Knight, after the Joker steals the bank owner's shotgun, he can be seen repeatedly using it throughout the movie. I honestly did not notice that, and I don't know why I would. I guess I just thought that the Joker had enough bread to, to buy his own shotgun. Because, you know, he's got that bit where he, the, bit, the, the bit in the movie where he, he burns the pile of money. Why didn't he just buy his own shotgun? Surely he could buy a better shotgun than that. How does he reload it? Like, if he's and if he's not buying guns, if he's doing the thing of like, oh, no, I don't want to spend money because that was the whole thing of him burning the money, being like, I don't need money. How, how's, he, how's he buying ammunition? If you're buying ammunition, you might as well buy a better shotgun. I don't know where I'm going with this. In Mrs. Doubtfire, the poolside bartender is played by an actor credited under the name Dr. Toad. But his real name was Robert Todd Williams, and he was Robin Williams' older brother. A vintner? What's a vintner? A wine merchant. He was a wine... What well, can I just say? Wine merchant. Who, the f who knows what a vinter is? But anyway, a vinter by trade in real life. This was his only film appearance. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that film, but, but pretty cool fact nonetheless. Little detail that was brought back from Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 1. In Spider-Man No Way Home, Willem Dafoe wears prosthetics as Norman Osborn, but as the goblin persona, he retains Dafoe's natural, less perfect teeth. Oh, that just makes no logical sense, does it? I get it's like a, it's a cool character thing, but like, I mean... Like when you when you go goblin mode, your teeth don't your teeth don't change. They don't they don't physically alter. So how do they explain how how that happen? How does that happen? Yeah, it, it doesn't it do, it doesn't make logical sense. I say that while talking about the movie Spider Man. Vladimir Zelensky is the Ukrainian voice of Paddington. Mr. Brown. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't. I, I don't think I'd really be able to distinguish his voice from uh, from uh, uh, many other people. I, I can't say I, I listen to him speak a lot. But no, that does does. That's pretty cool. That's a that's a pretty cool little fact. Paddington Bear is currently defending Ukraine from Putin. That's pretty cool. In the final scene of Django Unchained, absolute banger of a film, by the way, easy in my top five. Django wears the same outfit Calvin Candy was wearing when they first met, right down to the extended cigarette. I did not notice that, but that's sick. That's a that's a cool fact. Cool fact. In Back to the Future Part 2, one of the newspaper sections has a review for Jaws 19. And judging from the section's title, it ain't good. Jaws without... Where, where does it say Jaws 19? Where does it say nine, it's, it's the 19th Jaws? What other movies are, are coming out in 2015? Fun Bandit Strike. Man Killed by Falling Litter. These aren't very good movie titles. In Spider-Man No Way Home, as an homage to the comics, in a few shots, the electric field around Electro reveals his original mask for a split second. That is... That's really cool. I know I'm going to sound stupid because... I'm not really that in tune with like Marvel and, and, and crap, but I did not know that they were the same person. So I, I've seen that one. I've seen that fella. I've seen him on the on the on the front of comic books and stuff. I did not know that they were meant to be the same person until just now. In Free Guy, the calendar in Guy's apartment is missing the number four. This was added by a production designer who wanted Guy's apartment to reflect his status as a half-developed character. I, I I enjoyed that film. I thought Free Guy was good. I, I liked it, and I'm not just saying that because I, I I had a brand deal with them. I like I thought it was good. It was it was it was, it was, it was an art movie. It was a good movie. This scene in Scream 1996 hints at the killer's true identity early on. I mean, I haven't I've never seen Scream, so I've I, I don't know what what's it hinting to? I don't get it. Okay, they, they said info in the comments. I mean, I'm, I'm not learning. I don't, I don't know what that fucking means. Some of you might. I have no idea. In The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog, these pugs actually belong to Peter Jackson and his wife, Fran. I mean, well, is that canon that pugs exist in Middle Earth? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen The Hobbit in, since it came out, so I, I, I don't I don't know what's going on here. But it, what, so selective dog breeding is a thing in Middle Earth. I'd have thought they'd have better things to do than that. In Full Ragnarok, the pattern on this wall is a reference to fantastic Fantastic Four 64 published in 1967. How do you even do, do How do you even draw those comparisons? How do you like see a small thing on a wall and a, a, a thing in a cartoon that's probably not even really like that important? I mean, I, I, re I remember that from that comic from 1967. What? Get some bitches. I'm joking. Impressive. In the Ratchet and Clank... There was a Ratchet and Clank movie? In the Ratchet and Clank movie, a billboard can be seen advertising the crotch sizer. A gadget that's been a running gag throughout the original Ratchet and Clank video game series. I, I mean, I don't know what that is. I, I did not know there was a Ratchet and Clank movie. Durin's door in the Fellowship of the Ring is almost an exact match to Tolkien's original sketch. Now, uh, shoot me. Kill me. I don't care. 
I've never seen Lord of the Rings. I've I saw like half of the first movie and then I was like, this is this is too long. I'm gonna go to bed. I've never seen a Lord of the Rings movie all the way through. And I know you're gonna shout at me, but I know loads of people that have never seen a Harry Potter movie. And to me, that is that is more sinful by quite a way. But how how do you go over 20 years without without even coming across watching a Harry Potter movie? How does that happen? Like, do you ever meet people that just don't watch movies? Like they've just they've just like seen like five movies in their entire life. It's so weird. Oh, I love this movie. In the prestige 2006. Harry Dresden is listed as one of the performing magicians in the bullet scene. This is a reference to the Dresden. What does I don't know what the Dresden. What's the Dresden files? But uh, while I'm looking this up, the, the Prestige. What a movie! If you haven't seen it already, sort it out. It's so good. The Dresden files. Oh, it's a it's a book series. Cool. I. I I can't read. I can read, but I just I my attention span is so bad. I've got I think I've got about like five or six books that I've read about like maybe thirty pages of, and I've just got a bookmark in it. I've never come back to them. The credits to Moonraker claim that it was shot among other places in space. I'm gonna call bullshit on that. I don't think it was. I think it was a little thing called uh, VFX. I, I I think I don't, I don't think they filmed a 1979 James Bond film in space. I don't, I don't think they had the budget for that back in the day. In Madagascar 2005, by the way, that that, that does not look like it's aged. I haven't seen Madagascar in years, but just from this frame, it doesn't look like it's aged very well. According to the captain's patch, the ship is named the SS Act 2. This is fitting as it's the start of the second part of the story with the animals arriving in Madagascar. Wow! That's a, that's a cool transition. In Spider-Man No Way Home, the license plate shown references the amazing Spider-Man 1963-3, in which Dr. Octopus makes his first appearance. Does it? How do you fucking find these things out? Ah, uh, yeah, wow. Wow. That's that's cool. A nice little detail. In The Invisible Man 2020, you can see graffiti of Billy the Puppet as CC drives away. This is a reference to Saw. Really? Really? Which director Lee Wannell, I hope I pronounced that right, both wrote and starred in. I, I, I genuinely do not understand how people can watch Saw films for fun. I tried to watch Saw 1 which is, I mean, I haven't seen the rest of it, but I'm guessing it's the most tame one. And after the bit where, it's the bit where, like, the, there's a woman, she's got her head stuck in the, the trap and it's like, if it, if it timer goes off, it like opens her, I, I was like, no, I'm good, I'm fucking good, I'm alright. Uh, so I think I skipped past that bit and then it got to a bit where they were, like, trying to they're going to cut off their... I was like, nah, nah, I'm not... Oh, no, no, it was a bit where they needed to, like, um, get a fuck... I don't know, they need to operate or something? I don't know, it was horrible. I was like, no, no way, don't like this. And I'm not even bad with, like, gore and stuff. It's just like, I just... Uh, I just uh, I'd rather just not. Do you know what I mean? If you watch the scene in slow motion, you can see the TIE pilot being ejected after the collision with an asteroid in The Empire Strikes Back. I'm going to need to get this one at full screen. Oh, okay. Wow, cool. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to... I haven't seen the Empire Strikes Back in age, but I wasn't expecting it to explode. I thought it hit, and then it would, like... He'd, like, do an emergency jump out or something. Don't know where he'd be going, considering he's in the middle of space, but still. In Spider-Man Far From Home, Peter Parker browses the in-flight film library on his flight to Italy. Dr. Selvig from 4 and Avengers 1 is featured on Nova, a real science series on PBS. I have... I'm, I'm being real. I have not seen uh, a Marvel film in ages. I've seen... I saw the most recent Spider-Man, but other than that, I, I haven't watched a Marvel film in... In ages, so I have no idea what this is referencing. Oh, we love a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of Wallace and Gromit trivia. In Wallace and Gromit, the wrong trousers. We can see in the Diamond High scene among the museum's collection of mummies a guitar case sarcophagus with a mummified guitar. Now that's that's just silly. That's just silly. Why would you need to mummify a guitar? Ah, oh, it's goofy. What well, what a goofy little film. Leonardo DiCaprio's father, George DiCaprio, has a cameo in the film Licorice Pizza. He betrays the man who sells Gary a waterbed in the film. Well, well done, uh, George DiCaprio. Nice name, by the way. Where are we Guys, we're gonna leave that for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe if you're new. Merch link in the description, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye.